<laughs> Diane loves this song. On today's big board, all the fallout from yesterday's nationwide eclipse. Millions of us stopped what we were doing on Monday to watch the spectacle, but it also came with some headaches. Yeah, from hours long traffic jams to some health concerns now. ABC's Diane Macedo is here with more on the excitement and what people are talking about in its aftermath. Good oh, yeah. morning, Diane. Good morning to you. So the moon blocked the sun for just a few minutes, but cars blocked each other for far longer. We're taking a look at some of the most insane eclipse related traffic jams. We're also looking at traffic on social media and Google and the results are fascinating. This morning, in the shadow of that amazing eclipse, Twitter's clocking more than six million tweets about the great American eclipse. And over on Facebook, NASA's live stream had more than 29 million views. And it was much more than just digital traffic. Some of the first people in the country to see the total eclipse in Madras, Oregon, had to wait four hours to get out of the parking lot. Was it worth it, 20 hours? Oh, yeah! In Rigby, Idaho, where NASA had set up, there was bumper to bumper traffic for more than 20 miles. Perhaps many of those drivers had this song on repeat. YouTube views of Bonnie Tyler's Total Eclipse of the Heart music video skyrocketed. Hundreds of thousands were watching and listening to the song as the eclipse made its way across America. On iTunes, the song jumped to number one, beating Despacito. On Twitter, interest for the eclipse was nationwide, but just look. The most tweets followed roughly the same path as the path of totality. On Google, all day long, the top solar eclipse question, how to view the solar eclipse without glasses. So maybe it's not surprising that one of the top searches after the eclipse was seeing spots. <laughs> oh, yeah, and we got some new data from Google. Right after the eclipse, the search for how do I know the eclipse has damaged my eyes <laughs> spiked more than 4,000%. The number of people searching eyes burning after eclipse increased by more than 2,000%. And the fastest rising search, <laughs> eyes hurt after eclipse. There's a Fight reason to wear the glasses. <laughs> Psychosomatic. I mean, we were all sharing glasses in my family, and, you know, a couple of times I was like, oh, no, I want to the <laughs> And then you're afraid, but is, is there any precedent for this eclipse hypochondria? <laughs> there, there is, actually. People tend to freak out a little bit after an event like this. And we saw in 99, when England had an eclipse, there was an eyes, a hospital there that reported getting 1,600 phone calls, and they only found six cases of retina injuries. So just because you think you might be feeling something doesn't mean you actually so did any damage. So what are the symptoms you should worry about? Well, and there are some, right? So that is important to mention. Uh, two big ones to look out for, experts say, are blurry vision and blind spots in one or both eyes. A few other things to look out for, color blindness, uh, distorted vision, so if you see a straight line and it appears wavy, and lastly, intense headaches. None of those things are normal, so if you experience any of those symptoms, definitely see a doctor. Symptoms. Right. Yeah, you, you would notice. It's not something that's just going to be a little bit of discomfort, but it's always safe. If you're really that worried, call your doctor, just get a little reassurance. All right, good advice, Diane. Thank you. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.